you see jesus never claimed that he was god jesus never claimed worship me that is the case you have to accept you can tell us yes we do not have these verses but this verse we have but you watch these people especially from pastors of pakistan neither they speak english properly nor they speak urdu properly nor arabic by god i'm telling you they raised in pakistan but they do not know how to speak urdu they do not know how to utter those you know uh, what you call vowels how to say the word as a vowel point of view they don't know they are very bad in diction they are very bad in intonation they are very bad in pronunciation they are very bad in articulation watch them these people with the pride and but just donation 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 every pastor look at his face his eyes all are for donation what jesus christ said sell everything and follow me you are not of me or does not take his cross and follow me jesus says sell everything and follow me a poor man to enter into paradise the same thing you put this man into the eye of a needle this camel sorry camel into the eye of a needle this is the example jesus read that a rich man to go into paradise he said sell everything even the foxes have holes and the birds have nests to you know live but the son of man has no place to put his head upon who said so jesus christ sell everything 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 and follow me the poor person is the first who going to enter the paradise but watch these people how they eat money mint money the best business in america is to open the churches and earn droves after droves mint money like this guy you know the pastors name them jimmy swaggart 100000 dollars he need you know in one one a day in one day to put his you know head above the waters can you believe it all these part these old tv evangelists and now you have new new faces jim jones reverend jim jones what did you 911 people committed suicide by cyanide acid all the when the money was caught up into the banks he committed suicide and put all those people into jeopardy why you need money why why all the people are poor pastors are rich best business by god i'm telling you in america is to open a church your own ministry and fool those people on what grounds lies after lies so number one my muslim brother sister do not talk on their non fundamental topics make a list and talk on these topics number one is jesus god number two trinity number three crucifixion fact or hoax number four is bible the god's word number five original sin that's it you can add few sub divisions into these topics no problem do not just leave yourself on these topics tell them where did jesus said i am god they will never debate you ask them is the bible god's word they will not take a chance ask them this trinity for proof from the bible they will not take a chance original sin sources from jesus christ they will not take a chance yes they want to debate on quranic arabic can you believe these people can you believe it wallah azim you know i i don't know what can i express when i see these people they worry about quran's arabic you fools we have unbroken sequence of quran coming for 1400 years in the hearts of people heart here inside our hearts what can you do and you worry about us you people know that how many bibles were there and you just canonized them you know that that there is a difference between you know books between roman catholics and protestants six seven more differences between or each of them 166 books 172 or 73 books how dare you people talk to us that what's your original arabic we have arabic we are not the slave of translation we have the original the arabic which was left over by prophet muhammad peace be upon him unbroken coming there's no other book on the surface of the earth you know that which is recited by hearts and you people you don't even have the common source 5000 manuscripts you are boasting about a new testament in london museum no two are identical 20 or 10000 five more than 5000 or whatever 20000 manuscripts you are boasting about old testament 
and the museum note who are identical. Then how would you know that which was from God, which was not? Through churches. Churches decided that this is from God, this is not from God. Jesus never endorsed them. Did Jesus endorse all these kind of documents? No. That is why you have Matthew, you know, a book of Matthew according to Matthew. According to Mark. Why according? Because you know that these books are not endorsed by these particular names. Assumptions. Conveniently, you take their names to show the sightings. You know, in citing in English subjects, we do citing for students. They have to cite where they took this, uh, you know, article. Otherwise, they will, they will be charged for plagiarism. And they do it. Can you believe it? The Bible has been plagiarized. They have been endorsed without any names. And you brought up the religion and you talk on us. Judge ye not that you not be judged under what judgment you are judging others. Ye hypocrites. Why see the smuck in your brother's eye? First remove the beam from your own eyes. Then see the sliver in your brother's eye. Hebrews chapter 7 verse number 1. A good hammer, a sledgehammer from Jesus Christ to you people. Worrying about other people. Worrying about things, swelling the whole camel, but worry about the gnat. What do you have? What do you have? You're Arabic, you're Arabic. You, you have your Bible in Greek. Jesus never spoke Greek. Jesus belonged to Eastern. You people got Western culture into the Bible and you laugh on Arabic of Quran. You're trying to tell us that in Arabic of the Quran, this should not be there. This should be there. We are learning from you. We have unbroken secret. The highest tafasir explanation of the Quran is no other book on earth has it other than Quran. You know that? Tafsir, explanation of the book from unbroken sequence of science of Hadith, the one whom the book has been revealed to, Messenger Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he dictated those translation from Sahaba, not translation, Tafsir, explanation what he meant when the verse was revealed. You know that? We have every data. And Jesus said so. He will guide you into the all truth. I will end this. What do you have in the case? One verse is there. Church wants to make his own interpretation. Jehovah Witness has his own interpretation. Then Seventh Day Adventist has his own interpretation. Orthodox Jews of the Old Testament, they have their own interpretation. You know, Septuagint, al access it has their own interpretation. Who has to be have to follow? Who? This is the point. You do not have a rock foundation to propagate and you're trying to show us ice. We have the rock foundation. Hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 16, the same chapter I read before, recited. In chapter 16, Surah An-Nahl, chapter 4, 16, verse 44. Allah says, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have revealed this book to you and it is your job to articulate, to explain to the rest of the world Whatever revealed to Jesus for the sake of acceptance, did he explain who wrote it, who got it? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Mark wrote, Jesus went to that place, preached gospel. Uh, then John said, Jesus went to that mountain, preached gospel. Matthew said, Jesus went to that place and preached gospel. Which gospel Jesus was preaching when Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were not written? Which? Paul says, if Christ is not risen from the dead, our preaching is vain, our religion is vain, according to the scriptures. Which scriptures Paul is talking about when Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were not written? Think. You people got all those crucifixion from New Testament and hints from the Old Testament. But what this uh, Paul is talking about? You see that? You have loopholes. You have holes in your documents. Can't you see? Your bona fide is not correct. I'm ending this. Jesus Christ said. He said that. Verily, verily, I say unto you. That. You people. Will see that the one who is coming after me. Eight. You know, masculine pronouns. He used it. Eight. When the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into all truth. You cannot bear this now. What message? The message of this. He's telling to his disciples, you can't bear it. But listen, when he, the spirit of truth will come, 
He will guide you all into the all truth. He will guide. He shall not speak of himself. Whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall tell you many new things to come and he shall glorify me. Who glorified Jesus before Muhammad, peace be upon him? Tell me, who glorified Jesus other than Islam? Who was the person who claimed that I listen, I speak? Hold the Quran is revealed as a scheme. Meta is Qul, say O Muhammad. And he says, you people don't believe in dictation, in verbal dictation. You said the Holy Spirit inspired people to write. But Jesus said, whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall tell you many new things to come. What new thing Jesus didn't give you for 2020 years, which, you know, the Holy Spirit you claimed gave you. What things, new things he gave you? Nothing. And he will glorify me. Who glorified any non-Christian faith other than Islam? Who? This is Quran which says, Vajihan fi dunya wal akhira, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. Who? For Jesus and her, his mother. Can't you see all these things? So Jesus Christ said that. Verily, verily, there are many things I have to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when He, the Spirit of Truth, will come, He will guide you into the whole truth. He shall not speak of Himself. Whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak. And He shall tell you many new things to come, and He shall glorify Me. No one can fit here except Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If not, come and stand and debate and stand to reason.